video, we are going to make some small changes that have a big impact. I have Jason here to help me do a few of these items, and I think this is really going to make a difference for you. Not only are we just going to talk about it, we're going to do these things so you can see the difference. So I hear Jason walking in the door right now, so that means let's get started. All right, so first up, we are going to rearrange a little bit of furniture to make room to hang the new curtains. So, is this one long rod? Yeah, one long rod. So these are about 11 foot ceilings. Normally I would not recommend hanging your curtains on 11 foot ceilings, but because we have this second window up here, we are going for it. And we're gonna see how it looks. So we have this open, I'm moving this over here. I'm gonna try and get some really great symmetry in this room and see how it turns out. Okay, I chose a matte black rod with a large ball on the end. I'm worried that the lighting's gonna go in and out and in and out because of pointing it at a bright window. What do you think of all this, huh? You're just sad because your spot that was by the window got moved. Don't worry, we'll get it for you. Oh, so tired. I'm laughing that I chose white to wear for this. As if I'm not gonna get dirty. Ladders. A little sketchy. Yee yee. There is the center, my love. Okay, now we just have the last sign. Okay, so these curtains I got from Target. They are 132, I think by 50 something. I just put them in my dryer on the steam to try and get some of the wrinkles out, but I'll, I'll see if I have to get my actual steamer out. I'm pretty excited. I've never hung curtains all the way up here on this big window. I used to have curtains like on the lower part. We'll see if this little difference makes a big impact. Here. Hold that at the top. Like where it is? Yep. Tell me what that is at the floor. It is 134 at the floor, and these are 132. Two. Well, I know what it is. What? I measured from this, and oh, it's yeah. up. Uh huh. They didn't have 134 available. They had 132. I think it looks perfectly fine. You do, huh? I do. I literally can't handle that these curtains aren't the right size. I'm trying to see if the toilet paper trick will work up here, if you can see the rolls or not, because they're white. But that does look better. Doesn't that look nice? Yeah. But it's too short. Okay, so one of the things I'm trying to achieve in this living room is symmetry. When you first walk in my front door, this is the first wall that you see. And I am on the hunt for recliners that don't look like recliners. And so, but my goodness, the wait time on furniture right now is so long. So, come back here in, I don't know, maybe about six months and you'll see what I ended up getting. <laughs> but in the meantime, 
I will order new curtains that actually go all the way to the floor and send these back, but you get the idea. I love how it looks up here, but man, I'm so bummed that they are two inches short. Cause you really, no, no. I'm just not gonna leave them floating this far off the ground. So anyway, so now here I've opened up a whole can of worms. I have like this case over here and now I wanna get one for over there. So when you walk in, it's just, I just, it's just really pleasing to the eye when it's all symmetrical like that. All right, so you can see what a nice addition adding curtains can be to your room. Next, we're gonna do something that I haven't had in 17 years since I lived here and I will explain why, but we're moving on to the next thing. Off to the dining room. Okay, today we're gonna do something I'm so excited about here in my dining room. So when we moved in here 17 years ago, we had an elderly dog and she kept having accidents in this dining room. So I never put a rug in here. And then we got a puppy and when she kept having accidents, she kept going potty in here. And I've always wanted a rug in here. And so today's the day. <laughs> <laughs> so let's see if this makes the difference of what I've been wanting it to do. So let's do it. Although I lost my helper, so now I have to try and move this dining room table all by myself. So it's gonna be like ee, 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 ee. <laughs> All right, I'm just gonna kind of get this moved all the way over because this rug that I bought for in here is an eight by 10. I measured my table and I know that I wanted it to be at least an eight by 10 because I want my whole dining room, table and chairs, to be able to sit on there comfortably and not come off so it doesn't look disproportioned. There's nothing worse than getting a tiny rug and it doesn't go with the size that you have. So, definitely measure, measure. I also went with a super neutral rug because you guys know I do like all kinds of tablescapes, and I needed it to just like be able to go with everything. And I got a massively neutral palette in this dining room. And I like it. Because in every holiday season when I bring in other stuff, it goes with everything. Oh my gosh. I guess I'm gonna bring it that way. So I also, the rug I found, I saw it on another designer's site and the one that they picked was from Pottery Barn, and it was like $800 for an 8x10. And I was like, eh, I actually want to eat this month. <laughs> so I found a dupe that looks almost just like it. Thank you, Martha Stewart. Hold on. Gotta move my leg. She has one, and I think I paid. 197 for this 8x10. Uh, I will link everything down below. I don't, think that's, I don't think that's out of the way enough. Oh my gosh, I have to try and get this stuff unwrapped. Okay. It's kind of an awkward angle, but... I also got, I wanted like a low pile. I wanted it to be easy maintenance and to, for the chairs and stuff, for it not to be all big and bulky underneath. Oh, what am I doing? What is Grandma doing? Watch out, you're gonna get cut. Watch out. Checking it out. There will be no pottying in this dining room. Oh, this would be a lot easier if Jason was scared to pee went to the neighbors. You think you know about me? Let me get some scissors. This thing's like double wrapped, so don't worry, I'm not gonna, not gonna rip the carpet. What you think, girl? Okay, finally, guys. My goodness.
I cheated and I went and I got my neighbor and Sharon came and helped me. Yay! There was no way I was moving that on this rug by myself. Oh boy. Am I straight? I have a feeling for the next few days I'm gonna be maneuvering around. Eight by 10 was definitely the way to go. Look at this, you can like pull this all the way out. Like that is perfect and not have to worry. Same thing on the sides. Love it. All right, we're on to day two of decorating. Done with the curtains, done with the rug. I'm moving on to some artwork. If you guys could do me a favor and just go ahead and hit that like button, I'd really appreciate it. All right, now we're getting into the artwork. Okay, today we're gonna add some artwork to my kitchen. In my little breakfast nook right here, I have these two photos on this side and I have nothing on this wall right now. I had hoped to also show you the curtains in here, but I ordered another one of those bay curtain rods that I put in the dining room. Um, if you haven't seen that video, I can link it up here for you. But it's like perfect and I love that thing, so I'm like, I'm ordering me another one because it does such a good job. And we'll see how the curtains look when I'm done. I was a little iffy because of this moon window here, like how I wanted to do them, because I really like to take mine up super tall. But in this case, I'm actually not going to. I hope I don't regret it. I can always take it back down. But follow me over on Instagram and I'll end up showing you what that looks like since it's not able to go in today's video. But so for today's video, we're gonna go over here to this wall. Okay. Nice big blank canvas right here. I measured how big my two photos were over there, my two art pieces, and I wanted to get something that was similar in size so that when you looked at this space, this is a great tip, to help keep it balanced because we don't want something super big over here and something super tiny over there. We want them to be, you know, comparable to each other. So I went to Kirkland's with my measurements in mind and I found something that I think I'm really gonna like that matches my blue and wood and greenery in here. I found this awesome medallion at Kirkland's. It's got the wood and then the metal has this bluish gray color to it, which is perfect for the rest of the accessories that are in my kitchen. And it was the perfect like circumference to take up this wall and balance out the room. So let me get my little tape measure out and my pencil and find the exact spot I want to hang it. Okay, so over there I measured out down like how far those photos come. And so I'm gonna do the same thing on this side so this can be in the same area. And for me, it was about 33. Don't fall on me. So it was about 33. And then let's find the center of this wall. Okay, it's four feet across, so 48. So it's gonna be 24. Oh my goodness, you guys. I put it on the exact right spot. What? Okay, that's crazy weird. <laughs> wow, okay. <clears throat> So let me pretend, I always pretend I'm hanging it. It just has a one thing, so that's gonna make it nice and easy. I'm gonna pretend I'm hanging it on that spot. Do I like that? Oh yeah, that's perfect. Okay, this is like the easiest artwork to hang, holy cow. The next artwork we're gonna hang is not as easy. So, nail and a hammer. Okay, let me give you a better look of it. So if you're looking into the breakfast nook, we now have this on the left, this is on the right, and I can't wait for the curtains to get there. This will look so much better. Okay, so to begin with, I just took some painter's tape and I put it across the back of my photo and right here where the nail would hang, I'm putting a mark on each one. This is gonna help me. I'm gonna then take this tape and put it up on the wall and it's gonna help me get these photos all lined up because it's really hard when you're doing three pictures in a row to get them nice and straight across. 
So I'm just gonna do that to each three of these pictures that I have. Okay, so I lined up, <laughs> ignore the shadow, it's from this guy that I pulled out that's normally in that corner, but I lined up the photos kind of how they're going, gonna go on the wall. I like measured the sides, and then I'm gonna do two inches between each one. And I think I have about seven and a half inches on each side. So, I know this is how I wanna place it up on the wall. So next, we're gonna do that. Okay, so I have this level here, and I don't know if you guys can see it on camera. Maybe my hand will light up. But it's running a line across what is considered level. So, I'm doing all, I'm pulling out all the stuff to make sure I get these photos straight across. So I got my painter's tape, and this is about, I held the pictures up to see like where, like how far up I wanted them. And so I'm going to run this along this line and try and get it as level as possible. And this is gonna let me know where to put it. I got a nice straight line with my level. Okay, so now all I have to do is take off the tape off the back of here, put those across this, and I already have a mark where I want the nail, so then I can just put the little nail in. So I put my tape that I had on the back of that picture, and here's my two little marks. If everything's right and this is really level, we should be good to go. So I'm just gonna put the nail in right above where I made the mark. Okay, first one's done. Whoa, why, why, why am I the only person in the world that wants to fall when they're putting these things on? Okay, I it's pretty close to being straight, so this is nice. Oh my goodness, this wall has not had artwork on it in forever, and so I'm really excited. And you guys are gonna crack up at me. Talk about my own design lessons are actually making me change my stuff. Okay, remember how I said we wanted it balanced, and I bought something that was the same width? I didn't think about the length, I, it just being a circumference. So yeah, this was balanced this way, but it was driving me crazy that this stopped right here and the circle goes down further. <laughs> so I went and I got my tape measure. This is how crazy I'm getting about things being symmetrical and nice. And I measured from the top of this down 31. This is where the other new thing comes to. So I have decided, I wonder if that will just stay there. Stay. Perfect. I have decided I'm going to take this one off of where it was and bring it down to 31 and stagger my photos like that. And then that way, <laughs> when you look over here, it really will look balanced. Yep. I'll show you guys and you tell me which one looks better. There, now you guys can see that it's nice and symmetrical. It starts at the same spot up top, it ends at the same spot down bottom, it's the same width, and so when you're looking into this space, it just looks so much better that way. So now, I can't wait to get the curtains hung. It's just gonna look so much better. I hope these just give you guys some fun ideas and things that are so easy and inexpensive that you can do to your house. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys like these kind of videos where I'm just showing you how I'm decorating my house, my thought process, how I'm doing it. Maybe it could help you guys out. I know that I love to watch other people because sometimes people will do something one way and I'll be like, why? why am I not doing it that way? Why am I making it so difficult? So leave a comment down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.